Mr. Malchow has a little more company now. Michael Phelps. There he is, just turned 15 years old, but you look at him, he doesn't look a day over 10. He's come out of nowhere in the last six months, and if he makes the team, he will be the youngest male swimmer to qualify for a U.S. Olympic team in 68 years. up in the mid to late 2000s, you may remember his name plastered on every cereal box, magazine, and news channel possible. It's as if he became the poster child for the US overnight, and it makes sense as to why. Any parent would be happy to have their kid grow up to be like Michael Phelps. He was a hard worker, respectful, and determined. The whole country was rooting for Michael because he represented everything the US should represent and mothers and fathers wanted their boys and girls to know that. Undoubtedly, the peak of his career was the 2008 Summer Olympics taking place in Beijing, China. At the team trials, the preliminary held to select the contenders for the games, Phelps was turning a lot of heads. Everyone knew he was amazing. There was no doubt about that. But from the way he was performing at the trials, one would think he was the best swimmer in history. He competed in six trials, five of which he won, and two of which he set new world records for. After witnessing this, many started to ask, could he win eight? In 1972, US Olympic swimmer Mart Spitz set the all-time record of seven gold medals. An impressive feat that had stood the test of time. No athlete in any class has been able to beat it. In Beijing that year, Phelps would be competing for eight. Everybody was worried, but no problem for Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. Is it going to be a world record? Yes! The greatest Olympic champion of all time. Perfect five for five in Beijing is Phelps. All of them world records. And is he going to make it a perfect six for six with world records? It appears the answer to that is yes! Five! I don't know if he's going to catch him! He gets it done again! Like that, Michael Phelps was the greatest of all time. He had fulfilled his calling of America's poster child. He was the best, just how the country wanted him to be. It was all that easy, or at least that's what everyone assumed. From the TV screen, it was just a few minutes for a few days. He swam up and down the pool faster than anyone else. Simple as that. But what we didn't see was the weeks, months, and years of training. The kind of training a normal human, if thrown straight into, would either die or pass out from trying to accomplish. According to Bob Bowman, Michael's longtime trainer and father-like figure, he swam 13 kilometers a day, a little over eight miles, for six to seven days a week, making for a total of five to six hours of pool training a day. In addition to that was weight training outside of the pool, which would account for three or more days in the week. And of course, when you train that much, you have to eat an appropriate amount to sustain a suitable amount of energy. And for Michael, that amount happened to be an 8,000 to 10,000 calorie diet. His breakfast alone consisted of three fried egg sandwiches with cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, fried onions, and mayonnaise. Then it was three chocolate chip pancakes, a five egg omelet, three sugar coated slices of French toast, some grits, and a couple cups of coffee. He told NBC during the 2008 Olympics, eat, sleep, and swim. That's all I can do. Obviously, training to such a degree can take a huge toll to one's physical health, or more presumably, to one's mental health. As was the case for Phelps. After his laborious achievements in the 2008 Olympics, he was well due for a break. So that's what he did. In 2009, he took a hiatus from swimming for the foreseeable future. 
the undisputed king of the pool. But today, Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps is just trying to keep his head above water. This is why. A photograph published in a British tabloid over the weekend that appears to show him smoking marijuana at a party last November. In the blink of an eye, Michael Phelps turned from America's sweetheart to the saddening reject. It's as if every parent in the world was looking down on him with disappointment. How could he betray them and their trust after all the hope they put into him? Shortly after the photo was released, he posted a response to Facebook, part of which says, I'm 23 years old, and despite the successes I've had in the pool, I acted in a youthful and inappropriate way, not in a manner people have come to expect from me. For this, I am sorry. I promise my fans and the public it will not happen again. For the situation, he released a very professional response, one that took accountability and addressed his mistakes. Yet some were still unforgiving and were quick to find flaws in his comment, as was the host of CBS's The Early Show, who said, that's kind of the, hey, I'm a young kid, and look, we all do things excuse. It's going to really hurt him in the terms of his marketability now, which the television host wasn't wrong about. After the incident, Kellogg announced that they would be parting ways with the Olympian, as his behavior was, quote, not consistent with their image. Similarly to millions of Americans, the cereal brand wanted nothing to do with Michael Phelps because now he was apparently a harmful influence to those that looked up to him. People were even telling stories about the night the picture was taken, saying that Phelps was obnoxious, a player, and accustomed to using a bong. And just as a disclaimer, this is sourced from a 2009 pro marijuana blog, so I'll leave that up to you on whether anything they're saying is true. But either way, it seemed people just wanted to kick him while he was down. The local authorities were even investigating the situation to see if Phelps should be charged. In the end, Michael was not criminally charged, but lost a great deal of public reputation and faced a three-month suspension from competing. After the whole fiasco, Phelps had to really consider if he wanted to return swimming, because during his suspension, all the motivation he once had had seemed to disappear without a trace. All he found himself doing was playing video games, not leaving the house, and waking up at 11 each morning. Now for the typical unemployed 23 year old, that may sound like a normal day, but for a 14 time gold medalist swimmer who just broke eight Olympic records, that's anything but normal. He missed months. Months. Maybe six weeks. This was about a week before the nationals. So we show up on Saturday morning and he's not there. And then later I found out that he was in Las Vegas for the weekend. I assume he wasn't going to Vegas to do like dry land training. No, he wasn't doing any special training. Although I think he was at a pool. I, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what struck it. Uh, but I just woke up one morning and I was like, let's do it. By March 2009, he was back in the pool and training again this time with his eyes set on the 2012 Summer Olympics held in London. However, things were a little different. He was still partying, going to Vegas, and even skipping practice. Nothing worthwhile to the media, but to his coach and to his chances of winning, this behavior was worrisome. But for Michael, it was a trifling matter. He's coming hard, Phelps. He's still a chance. He's a real big chance. Can he do it again? He hits it and he does. Remarkable, stunning. Phelps holding Lochte, the greatest of all time. Iconic figure, writes his way into the history books yet again. So in over 100 years, nobody's won as many medals at the Olympic Games in any sport than this great champion, Michael Phelps. He makes it 19 tonight and a 15th gold. Phelps about to get an 18th gold medal and the Americans get the gold. And Michael Phelps officially now has won twice as many gold medals as any other Olympic athlete in any sport. He finishes with 18 gold medals and 22 in total. At the end of the London Olympic Games, with another four gold medals added to his resume, Michael Phelps was recognized as the most decorated Olympian in history, with 22 medals, 18 of them being gold. No one was even close to the achievements he had accomplished. He was most indefinitely the greatest of all time, at the top of the world, which meant the only direction he could go was down. 
Michael Phelps. And Michael Phelps. It's Michael Phelps. To Michael Phelps, the swimmer arrested for DUI, going nearly twice the speed limit, and Phelps is now apologizing. Police say Phelps was going 84 miles per hour in a 45 zone, then failed a series of field sobriety tests. Police say the swimming superstar was cooperative. Phelps telling ABC News, I understand the severity of my actions and take full responsibility. I am deeply sorry to everyone I have let down. After five years of regaining his reputation, another problem set him back, and arguably one much more serious. Because this time, it had the chance of causing harm not only to himself, but to others. A DUI charge, going 84 and a 45 in Baltimore. For many, it was exactly like before. The apparent poster child was nothing like what they were led to believe. What happened before was supposed to be his redemption story, a mishap that he comes back stronger from. That's what was supposed to happen, but this time he betrayed them again. Because he has more medals, doesn't mean he can go against the law. It's very sad. And a role model for kids, not so great. I feel like most athletes kind of just do what they want. Sadly, it's kind of a societal perception that exists. Personally, I for one, I don't want to see him on my TV anymore because I've had enough of him. It, it's time for people to step back and say, this is outrageous behavior. Instead of presenting any kind of empathy, the country was quick to look down upon him, just like before. And to clarify, this lack of empathy in no way justifies his actions. It was undoubtedly stupid, dangerous, and he was lucky that nothing more tragic came from it. But it's clear that this situation went deeper than it appeared. To his close friends and family, it was a dire call for help. Phelps reveals he was in a dark place, even questioning his own life. Bob Bowman recalls hearing about the DUI, saying, I'd been living in fear that I was going to get a call that something had happened. Honestly, I thought the way he was going, he was going to end things. Not take his own life, something like the DUI, but worse. Alluding to the idea of an accidental overdose. With the mispractices and trips to Vegas, Bowman could clearly see something that Michael had hidden from the world. A feeling that couldn't be filled by records and medals. He felt scared, hopeless and alone. It's hard to reach out, to open up and tell others about your insecurities and fears, and being someone the whole world looks up to can't make it much easier. A few days after his arrest, Phelps tweeted, swimming is a major part of my life, but right now I need to focus my attention on me as an individual and do the necessary work to learn from this experience and make better decisions in the future. October 2014, he checked himself into rehab. Michael Phelps concluded his Olympic career with 23 gold medals, 29 world records, and as the most decorated Olympian in the game's history. His career began in the year 2000 at the age of 15 and retired in 2016 at the age of 31, meaning the whole world was there to witness him grow as a competitor and as a person. He made mistakes, as one does, but because of the stature he held and being an icon to children around the nation, he was under extreme scrutiny for any mishap he committed. He was lucky that those mishaps didn't result into anything more than they were, but regardless, the public cut him no slack for his blunders. One year, he was paraded and flaunted by the country, proud to have him represent the United States, but the next, he was just a young kid doing something stupid that doesn't represent our image. America wanted him at his best and left him at his worst, even when he was in need of help. I, I look back at that night and everything happened for a reason. So this is a cry for help? I believe so, yeah. I really do. Today, nearly a decade after retiring, Michael Phelps has used his experience for the better. Instead of drowning in shame for his mistakes, he's used them as a lesson to help those who are facing the same kind of challenges, like depression, anxiety, and substance abuse. As of the last four years, Phelps has been a strong advocate for mental health awareness and speaks openly about the struggles he faced during his career and the ones he continues to face today. His story shows that just because someone may have the money and the fame, it doesn't make them invincible. It doesn't make them superhuman we're all susceptible to life's difficulties. And we all need the help of others to make it through. And that's okay. That's the thing that makes us human. 
you know, the biggest thing is just being able to open up and, and like I said, just understand that it's okay to not be okay. Like, none of us are perfect in this world. None of us are, so. Not even Michael Phelps. No, hell no. <laughs>